Leeds, October 1897. Annabel Harper is one of seven women running to be a poor law guardian. We look after our poor. You know plenty of them. So do I. It's not hard to find poverty round Sheepska. You just have to stick your head out the door. I'm sick of the well-to-do saying that folk have a choice about being poor and telling them to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Well, there are plenty whose boots don't have straps. More who don't even have boots. But as the campaign begins, they start to receive anonymous letters from someone who believes a woman's place is in the home. Do you really believe anyone wants to go into the workhouse or get relief? I've lived round here all my life and I know they'd rather have a wage. There are those who can't work, of course there are. And it's not their fault. I want to make sure we treat them with some dignity. For God's sake, they're human beings, same as you and me. The same as them with the big houses up in Round A who think they can look down on the world. We're supposed to be the richest country in the world. That's what they've been telling us all year while we've been celebrating the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Surely we can afford a little to look after our poor instead of it vanishing into some London coffer. The threats escalate into outright violence when an explosion rips through the church hall where Annabelle is due to hold a meeting with fatal consequences. The only piece of evidence Detective Superintendent Tom Harper has is a scrap of paper left at the scene containing a fragment from an old folk song. But what is its significance? You might have heard that there are seven women running to be poor law guardians in this election. We think a woman's touch would be a good thing. We know families. We know what it costs to live every day, right down to the last farthing. You know exactly what I mean, don't you? And we know how close poverty walks behind us all. We can look up that hill to Bermontoff's and see the shadow of the workhouse. It's always there. You know what I really want to do? I want to help the poor, not vilify them. They're not outcasts. They haven't sinned. They're us. That's why I'd appreciate your vote, so I can do that. Thank you. As polling day approaches, and the attacks increase in menace and intensity. Harper knows he's in a race against time to uncover the culprit before more deaths follow. With the lives of his wife and daughter at risk, the political becomes cruelly personal. Oh, the working man, as you can see, that is what he was born to be. Married to the working wife That is what she'll be all her life Never live beyond their means Nor saw assistance from their friends Yet yeah, day and night Through thick and thin They work life out just to keep life in No matter friends what else befalls the poor folk they must work or fall Through frost and snow, through sleet and wind They work life out just to keep life in